of this freezing and thawing, creating another problem. And we're talking potholes, lots of them, like those we saw last night on US 36. Dozens of drivers out there ending up with flat tires. Well, 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn, he's live along US 36 right now. Russell Cruz just wrapped up pothole repairs for the day. Yeah, and they wrapped up at about 3 o'clock this afternoon, just in time for rush hour. Yesterday's drastic temperature swing, nearly a 60 degree temperature swing, caused some major issues here along the turnpike. Stop and go traffic most of the day today between Superior and Foothills Parkway as crews work to patch some massive potholes that opened up last night. Uh, as soon as we found out about them, our teams are out there patching them and repairing them and then really helping the vehicles who were impacted by them. About 30 drivers suffered flat tires or other damage to their vehicles due to the potholes. It made for a traffic nightmare on the turnpike last night. Air Tracker 7 captured this video above the area just about an hour ago. Drivers impacted by the potholes can file a claim with CDOT, but keep in mind, it doesn't necessarily mean CDOT's insurance will cover the damage to your vehicle. In fact, that is very rare. This is something obviously that you process through the insurance process, and so we'll let them deal with that piece at this point. I can't say that that's necessarily something that would be reimbursed or it's a, a claim that would be paid out. And CDOT says in this case, the contractor working on expanding US 36 is actually responsible for the maintenance of the roadway while it's under construction. If you incurred damage along US 36 last night between Superior and Foothills Parkway, there is a special email address where you can file a claim. That email address is info at US 36 Express Lane dot com. But again, that email address is only for those who incurred damage on US 36 last night at about 8 o'clock. Live on the Turnpike, Russell Haythorn, 7 News.